when you say you make furniture, they picture sort of a kind of an old school master craftsman, artisan type thing, and uh, we're a little different than that. It's majestic how powerful the will of that tree is because it just, it's going to do what it naturally wants to do. But, you know, there's a certain, I think, part of ourselves we found in the process of doing this too. You know, it's very kinesthetic and, and spatial and, and, and beautiful. Working with this is, it's like working with another person um, whom you're trying to have a relationship with. They don't always cooperate. They have a will of their own. You know, when you have 25 or 30 custom jobs going at one time, I spend most of the time as the voice of reckoning, just keeping us on time and details, and I, you know, I, I do most of the communication with the clients. I'm sending photographs constantly. We have a little bigger space now, but this started in a detached garage on my property where we had 600 square feet. It was a little intimidating before because we have doctors and architects and, and things like that up, and you know, here they are walking into my garage. What we see in wood and, and the intentionality behind going out, salvaging, and reclaiming that and transforming it, giving it new life, it's a piece of wood that otherwise, if somebody didn't take that intentionality to go out and th go through that process, it, it would just be a cast off. Coming from a guy who had worked 20 jobs, you know, maybe my longest job was two, three years. So this thing's held on to me for three years every day in and out in the grind and uh, I'm still fascinated. <laughs>